Hi, and welcome to our new tutorial. Today we will be having a look at how you can deploy the Adobe Reader DC with the help of Microsoft Intune. We will show you step by step how you download, create, and deploy Adobe. If you want to read about the deployment, you can also check the blog post. There you will find more information, and you can copy, for example, commands directly from that website. You also find the latest blog post from us with helpful information. The website is also in the description. But now, let's start with deploying Adobe Reader DC. We will start by downloading the latest Adobe Reader DC application. But be careful, we will need to install the enterprise version. Go to the website shown in the video. Now first choose the operating system where you want to install it. I will deploy it to Windows 11 devices. Now the language. Last choose the version. Just choose the only option available. Now click on Download Acrobat Reader. The application will be downloaded. This might take a while, but after the download, you should have a new file in your download folder. We will use this later. We can close the Explorer for now. The next step will be to create two new folders on your C drive. Navigate to C. We will need to create two folders. First one is called Deploy Adobe Reader. Click on New and create a new folder as shown in the video. Again, and name it Output. You have now two folders. Navigate into the Deploy Adobe Reader folder. We will need to copy the downloaded executable into this folder. Just copy the executable into this folder. Perfect. The next step will be to download the Intune Win app tool. We can close the Explorer for now. Open a browser and search for Intune Win app tool. We need the first GitHub link, so you might need to scroll down a little. There it is. This is an official Microsoft tool, so you don't need to worry about downloading a virus. Click on the Intune Win app utiled exe file as shown in the video, and then click on the download icon on the right side. This will download the application. You now have the Win app tool in your downloads folder. Open it. We will now need to specify some parameters. First one will be the folder path where the executable is stored. Go to the folder Deploy Adobe Reader and copy the path into the command prompt. Perfect, now we need to copy the file name inside this folder. Don't forget to add exe on the end if it is not already. Now enter the path of the output folder which we have created on the beginning. Last enter end to complete. It will now create the Intunwin file. This can take a while. Just wait until the command prompt closes. Perfect, you now have a new file in your output folder. We will need this in the next step. The next step will be to log in into the Intune portal. We will then create a new application with the created Intunwin file. So close your explorer and open a browser. Navigate to the Intune portal. Log in with your admin. I will speed up the process. WHU or Logid and into the Microsoft Intune portal. Navigate to Apps. Click on Windows and click on Add. Select the app type as Windows App Win32. Click on Select. 
Click on Select File and choose the new created Intune Win file in your output folder. Click on OK. Now you can edit the app information. I will just edit the important ones. But don't forget to enter a publisher. If you think you have edited all, you can click on Next. On the Program tab, we will need to enter the Install and Uninstall commands. Just follow the video. We will first need to copy the file name from the Adobe executable in the Deploy Adobe Reader folder. Navigate and copy the name. Paste it in the Install command and don't forget to add the exe ending if not already. Now write the parameters as shown in the video. If you want to copy the commands, you can visit the blog post. There you will find all helpful information to copy it directly. The link is in the description. For the uninstall command, write the following. I will just copy it from the blog post. You can stop the video if you need some more time. Make sure that the install behavior is set to system. Then you can click on next. On the requirements tab, choose the operating system architecture to x32 and x64. For the minimum operating system, just choose the oldest one. Click on next. For the detection rule, choose manually configure detection rules. Click on Add. Choose Rule Type to File and enter the path shown in the video. The path is the installation folder where the application will be installed on the devices. This will check after installation if the application is correctly installed. For the file or folder, enter AcroRD32 as shown in the video. Detection method choose, file or folder exists and click on OK. Perfect, now click on Next. Define your dependencies if you want and click on Next. Define your supersedence if you want and click on Next. On the assignment, assign the application to a group or all users, all devices. It does not matter if the application is assigned to a user or a device. Last, click on Create. The application will now be created. This can take a while. On the end, you will see a pop-up on the right top corner. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We hope you found this guide useful and easy to follow. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below or visit our blog post in the description. See you soon.